what's going on guys Renato here with another car video this time I'm inside the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L overland trim but I am in the V8 and I am really excited about this uh, this test drive because this is the the car that I initially wanted and um, I called my dealership again and I asked them if they had us any of these in stock. I noticed that a few of these were popping up in showrooms and I really wanted to come and test drive one of them. And just to see what the difference is, you know, if it makes sense um, to really get one of these. Now that I've owned the V6 uh, Overland for about a month, I know how that drives, I know how it feels. Um, I'm happy with it, um, somewhat, <clears throat> somewhat disappointed. Uh, with the performance obviously um, like I've mentioned before the car isn't the fastest um, it's fast enough like for for what the car is and the purpose that the car serves which is a family car so in that sense I don't have anything bad to say about the car it's uh, it serves as a great family car but um, the V8 is where I, where I wanted to be from the beginning just considering the size of the car now the interior of the car, of this car that I'm driving, is very, really no difference at all, to be honest, from my car. It's it's got the Napa Nelt leather seats. It's got the air suspension. Um, it's got I know I'm heating in heated and cooled seats. Uh, it, the the sunroof, the captain's chairs. So there's really no difference in terms of the interior of the car. is very comfortable. Where I am noticing though the biggest difference. And, um, and I'm really liking it is the power this car is so much faster in the V8 it is insane um, I've seen the fives but I'm telling you guys it is undeniable the the feeling that you've got with the V8 in this car so just a quick pull here man this thing moves in a V8 this is crazy oh wow it's like incredibly fast this is definitely the powertrain to go in this car i mean i i can't deny that um and you know what you're not losing so much on the you're not losing so much on the <clears throat> on the gas mileage because i believe this is um i think 19 combined i'm gonna stop the car for a minute and i will show you guys i'm gonna pop the hood and i'm gonna look at it and i'm gonna show see what the sticker says but I'm pretty sure it's about 18 or 19 or maybe even 17 combined. But here's the thing. I am getting roughly 18 to 19, you know what I mean? Sometimes 20 if I'm doing a lot of higher driving on my V6 because I feel like I have to dig into the pedal so much, you know what I mean, to, to get going that I'm probably hurting a little bit on the gas mileage. And whereas this one, I mean, it just feels very natural, you know what I mean? Like the power, the car just goes very naturally without any, like I don't have to force anything. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's very smooth power transition, which I like. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna pull up here uh, in a driveway. This is a property that my family owns, okay? So it's not, I'm not pulling up on someone's driveway. <laughs> that would be so weird. All right, let's just take a look at this car from the outside. Put it in park. Here we go, I got the, this is a white truck. Mine is a gray, like a grayish, but this looks nice though. The white looks nice. I, I don't like the pinstripe. If I was to, to get it, I would definitely get the stream pipe, pinstripe out. Uh, it's a, it's a good looking truck though in a white color. Got a tie. Looks pretty good. Let's see if I can look at open up the hood just so we can take a look at this uh, interior. Ah, there it is. 5.7 liter V8. Ooh, and the car just started lowering by itself. Very quiet though. Oh, closed. The wheels look nice. 
All right, so let's look over here. So this is a 70 miles combined, 14 in the city, 22 in the highway. And this car's MSRP is $63,000. They got some BS um, add-ons there. $65,560. So one interesting thing is that the, the, the guy just told me that there hasn't been a lot of interest in this one. Like he's had a ton of interest in the um, in the v6 cars like people are going in looking for them day in day out but this one they have two of these in stock and no one is looking at them you know it's just because the focus these days is so much on fuel economy and you know electric cars and hybrid cars that a lot of people are really moving away from the big engines the v8 engines um, I guess only car enthusiasts and are really going up to these cars. Um, but for a big SUV like this, I mean, you kind of have to. I don't see how. <clears throat> Unless they come up with uh, the 4X E model next year, I think, or the day afterwards, which is going to be an electric uh, engine plus a V4 engine. I think they have those in the, in the what do you call those, the, the Wranglers. And... There's been a lot of good reviews on those Wranglers. They have just as much torque as this car has. I think this engine produces 370 horsepower and roughly 400 uh, pound-feet of torque, just under 400. And I think those engines in the Wranglers are producing just as much. Um, so I guess that's good. But um, yeah, people are just not really flocking after these cars um, like like they should I guess um, but I am loving it um, I'm gonna have to see um, if they would be willing to do a switch I'm not gonna be let's not be irresponsible um, because I just bought that other car and that obviously we do drive off a lot with a car you're basically losing right there there's no way around that um, so if I were to get it to switch they would probably uh, stuck stick me with a thousand dollars or more maybe two thousand dollars um i'm not comfortable losing money uh but i do love how this car drives and you know what i mean it's definitely definitely feels like this is the the engine option for this car now what i think they should have done is probably this should have been the standard engine for the, the overland and the summit and the summit reserve and um, <clears throat> maybe the V6 should have been the, the option, you know, um, because those are already cars in the 60s, um, you know what I mean? Those, those, these aren't cheap. Obviously, I've had some people say, you know, that $60,000 is a lot, of, a lot of money for a Jeep. Um, you're getting a lot of luxury for the price. It would be nice to have, you know what I mean, a big and powerful engine to go along with all that luxury. And to match that, you know what I mean, that's high sticker price. Um, that being said, I've seen um, Telluride in the 60s, which is crazy. You know what I mean? And that's a Kia. Pull here so you guys can see how fast this thing pulls. Just after I turn here. Oh, we got a red light there, so that's not going to help us. It's going to get even. Look at the sound of that engine. Woo! This thing moves. This thing moves. If only they had the color that I liked. That gray color that I that I bought, the silver color, that's really, I think, like is the correct color to go in this car. Man, this car is so fast. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I keep surprising myself every time I step on I step on the gas pedal. It just moves so fast. It's crazy. Wow. Now I'm driving my right now I have I drove to the to the dealership in my 2021 Dodge Challenger RT and uh, you know obviously I have a six-speed manual transmission in that one so you know you mean you don't feel as fast because you, you shift you know what I'm saying but I guess because this is a four-wheel drive it just feels so much faster though I mean you have to do so much less work in order to get to get the speed you know what I mean but this thing feels crazy 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 If they would be 
willing to play ball in, in an exchange. I mean, I've already put like 2,000 miles in that car. So this is a crazy market though. Um, because of the, I keep hearing that there is a chip shortage and that's why there's so few new cars in dealerships. Um, hence the reason why price, uh, price for used cars are so expensive because there aren't any new cars in dealerships. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that's starting to turn around where we can start seeing you know a good price uh, you know what I mean you can start negotiating good prices on new cars you know what I mean I feel like um, you know what I mean? people are just pay, overpaying for cars uh, even the car that I bought you know what I'm saying I got such a small discount on it that I still feel like you know what I mean it wasn't like it wasn't a bad deal because I didn't pay over but it also wasn't great Let's see if I can do a quick pull here. And let's go. Ooh. My heaven. There we go, 60. Very quick, very, very quick. So my honest opinion, should you get the Jeep Grand Cherokee L in a V8? 100% yes. I feel like this is the powertrain to go with it. Um, if you are uh speed uh oriented if you like you're not that you're gonna drive carelessly but if you like feeling the power of feeling the car going you know what i mean as soon as you step on the gas yes this one is the one to go uh, if you want to have that extra little bit of power so you can you know what i mean it's definitely the one to